You gotta appreciate the flowers. I mean, come on. Cute, cute. So today we're going to the drugstore and I'm gonna share some of the hidden gems that I have found, including a serum foundation meant for mature skin. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today I'm so excited to film this video because it's all drugstore. I have found some amazing gems right under our noses at Walgreens, at Walmart, and I couldn't wait to share them with you. And one of you guys suggested that I test out this new foundation from number seven. It is the number seven Restore and Renew Multi-Action Serum Foundation. This is especially geared towards mature skin and I couldn't wait to test this out with you. I literally picked this up at Walgreens. Funny story, there's a woman shopping at the same time as me and we both picked up the same foundation. So I kind of had a conversation with her. I could not believe she was 65 years old. She looked amazing. So. We both hadn't tried it and I was like, well, let's give it a go. Here are the details. Now it retails anywhere from $15.99 to $19.99. It has an SPF of 20. It provides light to medium coverage. It's supposed to conceal fine lines, wrinkles, age spots, and uneven texture and tone. On one website, it came in 18 shades and another website I saw it came in 10 shades. So I'm not sure how many shades there are, but I'm in the shade Warm Ivory. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I absolutely love testing out foundation, and particularly one of my favorites is actually the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. This one came out, I think about a couple of months ago, but I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. It comes in a glass bottle. It's very bougie for drugstore, and it comes with a pump. So let's go ahead and apply it. Now I've already filled in my eyebrows with the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. You know, it's one of my all time favorite drugstore products. It has a spoolie on one end and a retractable pencil on the other. Perfect for filling in your brows. It has a 1.5 millimeter tip, so you can really fill in your brows with precision. Since I have dark under eye circles today, I went in with the Milani Supercharged Under Eye Brightening Tint. This is such a wonderful drugstore product. If you have dark under eye circles, that run a little purple. I'm in the shade 120 Peach. It really color corrects that under eye area and hydrates at the same time because it does contain skin loving ingredients. But this is fantastic if you have that. It's also great to use on those no makeup makeup days when you don't wanna put on a full face of makeup and you just wanna color correct that under eye area. And of course, I primed my skin with a Tula Skincare Filter Primer. I know it's not drugstore, but hey, if it ain't broke, I ain't gonna fix it. This is a fantastic moisturizing plus blurring primer. Let's get into it and let's apply some foundation. How you doing? I need some coffee. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I think this came out a couple of months ago. I didn't see a lot of reviews on it, but since I'm such a huge fan of their number seven Protect and Perfect foundation, I couldn't wait to test this baby out. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. Let's go ahead and pump some out. Two pumps. It is a serum foundation and it is quite runny. I'm gonna apply it to the middle of my face warm ivory. This actually looks like a really good match for my skin tone. Now I do have normal to dry skin. I have redness, hyperpigmentation, melasma, fine lines, wrinkles. So I thought this would be a fantastic serum foundation for our mature skin. And I'm telling you, I've been testing out so many foundations this year, but so far this looks beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my TJ Maxx sponge and tap it in. Now this is supposed to offer light to medium coverage. And so far, definitely light coverage, but it looks very smoothing at the same time. Now it claims it'll cover up your age spots. It won't settle into fine lines. As you can see, I have some definite age spots right through there. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it up. Ooh, look how runny it is. Holy smokes. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, let's get some and apply it on the other side. Now the consistency is definitely runny, feels hydrating at the same time. And it doesn't have much of a scent, it's just a clean scent, but it's not overbearing. Now on this side, I'm gonna use my Refer 31 brush and just stifle it in. It 
this is one layer of the foundation. That looks really nice. Very skin-like, very smoothing. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more on this side and just see if we could build it up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my light so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. Very smoothing, very hydrating. It's very skin-like. Now remember, this is a serum foundation. It does have a runnier consistency. It's not gonna offer a lot of coverage, but I think it's very pretty. You can still see my hyperpigmentation and melasma peeking through, but I'm not angry at it. I mean, I knew going into this, it would be a light to medium foundation. So I think it's very pretty, very glowy, very hydrating. So different from the Makeup Forever foundation that I tested out last week. Oh, Malanta. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can build up this side a little bit more. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Now, I still have quite a bit left. Let's see if we can build it up. Let's just tap it in like that. I like how it feels on the skin. It's very hydrating. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any sort of makeup. If you're into more of a sheer coverage foundation that has skin loving ingredients, I think this would be super ideal, but this is looking very pretty on the skin. I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is a long wearing concealer and I this used to be my favorite concealer and I totally forgot about it. But this, I remember, it's really good great for coverage and we only need a tiny bit of concealer since we already applied the Milani Supercharged Under Eye Brightener. I'm just gonna pop a little bit right through here. Ooh, that's definitely brightening. And right where I tend to get red and a little bit, my friend's going away. I thought I was gonna charge her red this past week, but. Now, concealer and foundation are on. I think the Milani concealer worked fantastic with the foundation. It brightened up that under eye area. Of course, we had help with the Milani Supercharged Under Eye Tint. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. HD Powder. I love how it has like a little sifty thing through here. I'm just gonna pour a little bit into the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Ulta Flat Brush, the crusty old one, and just press this loose powder under my eye area to set it. This brightens up the under eye area beautifully. Wow, look at that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Bronze Please. I'm in the shade Amalfi. I'm gonna use my BK107 brush and I'm gonna just apply it almost up through here above my cheekbones, right where the sun would naturally hit it and just tap it in. You see how it just gives such a lovely kiss of warmth? And right above, not necessarily down through here, we're not contouring, I just wanna add a little bit of warmth right through there and then around my hairline. But this is just playing super well with the serum foundation. Look at that. Super pretty. Nice, okay. Beautiful. Now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush, and this is in the shade Pink Flirt. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a tiny bit on, my, on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like. It's actually very reminiscent of the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. It's not a beautiful shade. Don't be scared. It does sheer out, and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fingertips and just tap it in. I mean, this could definitely be a date for the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. But again, another drugstore gem. It just goes on super easy. You can sheer it out, you can build up cat hair. But it just lays beautifully on the complexion. Again, another gem from the drugstore. It's so beautiful. Look at that, just a natural flush of color. And I specifically chose these products because they are so accessible. They're right there at your drugstore. No ordering online, no waiting for the UPS guy, like I do all the time. 
we have a very intimate relationship. No, I'm just kidding. This is fantastic. I think it retails for like $8.99, but I'll be sure to put all the products in the links below. This is a beautiful liquid blush. Now, for eyeshadow, I am so excited. I have never tried the Revlon Colorstay Day to Night eyeshadow quads. You know I love a good eyeshadow quad. There's minimal thinking involved. You have the entire color story at your fingertips. It's supposed to be a new and improved formula. Now, I've never tried Revlon eyeshadows, I don't think, but this color story really spoke to me. It's called Addictive. Hello, speaking of addictive, hmm. Huh? But this is a cool tone neutral palette. This is a stunning palette. And the other color stories that they had were like pinks and purples and warm tones. And I think it retails for like $8.99. Now, I didn't prime my eyelids. I just have a little bit of concealer on there. During my skincare routine, I applied the City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. This also doubles as an eyeshadow primer but I love, love, love this color story. It's so beautiful. Look at these shadows. This shade is stunning. It's like a gunmetal gray. Isn't that beautiful? And then this color right through here. This is like a cool tone suede color. Oh, are you kidding me? And this is drugstore. I'm telling you, I had so much fun at Walgreens the other day. It's like a lighter suede color. Now this doesn't have a lot of pigment. I'm gonna take this big fluffy BK201 brush and I'm gonna use this first shade up top through here. I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. Now there's a little bit of kickback, but I'm not angry at it. I find eyeshadows with too much pigment difficult to blend. We got that nice even look. Angie Hot and Flashy A502. I'm gonna go in with that second color through here and I'm gonna go right in my crease, right above it. Now this is such a cool tone shade. Oh, it's beautiful. Definite kickback, but it's still applying beautifully. And you know me, I like easy peasy and this is just going on so well. Ooh. Now on an A504 from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection, I'm gonna go in with this deeper suede shade through here. Now this is a matte shade and I'm gonna go right above my crease, right through there, and then on the outer thirds of my eye of the mobile lid, and just tap that in. Now there is definite fallout, but it's not a deal breaker for me. And then right through there, just making that crease a little bit deeper, right through there. Isn't that pretty? And again, on the left eye, right above my crease, just to create some depth in that transitional shade and on the outer thirds of my eye, just stamping it. This brush is amazing. It really has a lot of precision. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left and run it under my lash line to smoke it out. I'm gonna go in with the shade topper through here. Oh, it's really buttery. And I'm just gonna tap it onto my eyelid These eyeshadow quads are so unassuming. You don't think much of them because you're in the drugstore and you're just like probably running in to get a gallon of milk or pick up your prescription. But I'm telling you, these are really good drugstore finds. With that same brush and just deepen up that, deepen this up here and blend it. Now, that was a super easy eyeshadow look. I mean, literally did not take that long. There was a little bit of kickback, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe the big fluffy brush. And there you go. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with the final look. Now for eyeliner and mascara, I went ahead and tight lined my waterline with my favorite Flower Beauty Longwear Eyeliner. Now I know I rarely use a liquid felt tip eyeliner on the top of my lash line. I went in with the Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner in pitch black. For some reason for today, with this smoky eyeshadow look, I wanted a little bit more pop, more definition on my lash line. And this is such an easy pen to maneuver. Now it is a felt tip pen, and I'm gonna show you how flexible the tip is. Look at that, it's like super sharp but flexible at the same time. It offers great pigment and it was so easy to just tap on my lash line to give my eyes that little extra oomph and extra definition. Now for mascara, I've been using and testing out the new L'Oreal Voluminous 
more balm eyeshadow. It's a great formula. I love it because it's not clumpy, it doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, and it just lengthens the eyelashes so beautifully. The caveat I have with this is the wand tip applicator. As you can see, it is a silicone, very flexible tip. It reminds me of the Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara wand tip applicator as well. And the brushes, or shall I say the teeth on this brush, Oh my gosh, if you poke yourself in the eye, which I've done many times, it really hurts. Great formula, I just don't like the wand tip applicator. I'm still gonna use it because it's a great formula. I just have to be careful when applying it. And for lips, I went in with Revlon's Colorstay Satin Ink Lipstick. This is the shade Partner in Crime. I love this formula. It's super hydrating, but it stays on fantastic. This is a beautiful cool tone pink nude that I think really ties the entire look together. But we are here to talk about the number seven Restore and Renew Multi-Action Serum Foundation. I found that it played fantastic with the cream products as well as the powder products. It lays very smoothly on the skin. I think it looks very natural. It has an SPF of 20. So I wanna see how it looks like in natural daylight. And we're gonna go out in the snow. I mean, here we are in March and it snows. Yeah, Tennessee weather, what can I say? We're gonna see exactly what this looks like in natural daylight, so let's go. So if you've made it to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and letting me share some of my hidden drugstore gems. You guys, the number seven Restore and Renew Multi-Action Serum Foundation is absolutely lovely. Now, it does retail anywhere from $15.99 to $19.99, and it comes in about 10 to 12 shades. I'm in the shade Warm Ivory, and I found this worked beautifully on my mature skin. It didn't settle into my fine lines. It has great light to medium coverage. It's very skin-like and comfortable on the complexion, and also it has an SPF of 20, so that is a total added bonus. This is a fantastic foundation that's literally right under your nose the next time you go into the drugstore. I highly recommend you check this out. It's affordable, it's accessible, it looks beautiful on the skin. It has all day coverage. I find that it didn't oxidize. I found that it didn't budge, but it's just beautiful on the skin. And of course, the Revlon Colorstay Day to Night Eyeshadow Quads. You guys, I guess they reformulated it, but the color stories are beautiful. I love this particular story. Cool tone neutrals, easy to apply, super easy to blend. There's no thought process. You just put it on and go. It is absolutely beautiful. And I think these retail for like $8.99 but great little quads. But what is your favorite drugstore product? I would love to know. I know there's so many hidden gems at the drugstore, but in my next upcoming video, I've got lots of new makeup coming in, both drugstore and high-end, and I can't wait to share those with you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of my family. And in case you wanna hang out a little bit longer and check out some more foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over here. But for now, mwah, mahal kita, I love you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. 27 degrees. 27.